Hey guys, I'm Ajit from MW Technology and today in this video we're going to be talking about some of the upcoming things that are going to be unveiled at CES 2012. And before we begin, I'm just going to let you guys know this is my first video for 2012 and this is going to be nothing about jailbreaking or anything like that, uh, although there are some new jailbreaks in the works. Um, but today we're just going to be talking about a whole bunch of technology, new things and features and basically everything kind of cool that everyone's looking forward to. So stay tuned. So I've been keeping up with CES 2012, but not like incredibly up close. Uh, there are some things that I've been looking into personally because that's what I'm interested in. And I'm just going to bring those things to light. Uh, basically the Gorilla Glass uh, 2, which is all the glasses that are used on most mobile phones and tablets these days. Uh, it's really durable and basically if you drop your device it doesn't break. Uh, they announced a new one, it's called Gorilla Glass 2. It's uh, 0.2 millimeters thinner than the previous one which was 1 millimeters and the new one is 0.8 millimeters and supposedly it's really really more durable, it can handle a lot more weight and it won't crack that easily. So personally I'm waiting for this new Gorilla Glass 2 to be implemented into the new iOS devices of course because that's the only things that I buy on a regular yearly basis. But of course it's going to be seen in a lot of other devices like Windows Phone, Android Phones, um, other tablets, newer tablets, thinner tablets. Uh, basically anything that looks good and makes things stronger and more durable is always better. So this Gorilla Glass 2 is amazing and it works just the way the Gorilla Glass 1 did. It's thinner and it can handle more weight. That's basically the difference. And right now there's no release on what companies are going to be coming out with their devices using Gorilla Glass 2. Um, but it's a thing to look out for and it's definitely something very impressive. So one of the coolest things announced at CES uh, today was basically the 55 inch OLED TVs from LG and Samsung. Now if you don't know what OLED is, it's basically, um, it stands for organic light emitting diodes. And how the technology works is it makes its own light. So each pixel basically has its own light, has control of the colors that it's gonna make. And because of this, the TVs are really, really thin. Now, a couple years ago, Sony introduced the 11 inch OLED TV. It was on sale for $2,500. It didn't do very well, and they never ended up making it on the Breaker model. But the technology has been perfected, and it's been a while since anything new in uh, TV technology has come out. Now, we have seen LCD TVs go from LCD projection to basically really, really thin LED TVs, but they were still in the same technology. They use the same liquid crystal um, format and everything is the same. The biggest change was from projection TVs to LED TVs or LCD TVs, however one you want to put. But um, this has been the biggest leap in TVs so far and it's a really really big leap because of how thin these TVs are. OLED TVs are basically one sixth of the thickness of a real LED TV. Now I have a LED TV and it's really really thin so I can't even imagine a TV that's one sixth of its size and something that offers better colors, better black levels and better picture quality in an overall experience. So this is something that I'm really looking forward to. Um, price point when it does come out is, uh, no, Going to be really expensive they said it's going to be around five thousand dollars although there is no specific price that they put out yet it's just a guess um other than that it's been said that these tvs are going to be you know seeing uh retail stores at about the fourth quarter of the year which is the end part basically um october november and december of 2012. so you can probably guess that other companies are going to start making these tvs as well but for now it's only lg and samsung that have gotten a 55 inch size now the thing that's really cool about this is that it's not just the technology it's about how big it is because taking that technology and making it onto a big scale like a 55 inch tv is kind of amazing um, that was the biggest challenge for them and that's why it costs so much money now because they've recently just created created this technology to work on this size of scale. So that's one of the things that I'm looking forward to. So this was just the first day of CES, but there's a whole bunch of days left to go and a whole bunch of new devices to be unveiled. But just a general overview of CES 2012. Um, if you don't know, basically this year is going to be about uh, thinner devices, better, bigger, faster cell phones, uh, thinner, lighter, smaller tablets, and the same thing goes for laptops, TVs. Um, just going to get in, you know, increasingly. Uh, better in the apps that they offer inside the services, nothing new to technology other than the LED TVs, um, a whole bunch of new 
products and services that are coming out, but nothing super amazing yet. So uh, this has been a recap on the first couple of days of CES. Thanks for watching guys and make sure to subscribe.